What a game this was today in South Florida as the Dolphins are not playing today. But somebody else is going to take their place at 1 o'clock. It's the Florida Panthers going up against Chicago Blackhawks. A little bit of a rematch from 10 days ago. And really, that's that's the team. That's like the last. It's, it's kind of funny. That's the last time we lost a game, which was about 10 days ago. And now we're talking about a four-game win streak. Still early in the season, we, and we already got a four-game win streak. But it was not easy. It was definitely not easy. So um, we'll definitely we'll definitely talk further about that. Um, now, now with this game, uh, as of right now, because I just I just straight up started making this video. Um, as of right now, there's no three. There's no stars of the games yet. That I think it will be by the time I get to the end. Um, this was quite the shootout. I will say this is a shootout. Um, and the Panthers, they do something that they hardly do at all after in their season. So we start off with the with the faceoff win. Barkov going up against, you know who, the future of the future NHL rising star Connor Bedard. Um, we started with the faceoff win. There was an icing, so we know, so another faceoff win, and. I don't think this video's. I don't know if this video's gonna take a long time. I don't think I want to make it a long time thing because I do have some company coming over soon. Um, Ekman Larson tips it in from from the re from the I shouldn't say rebound, but more like a deflection off, assisted by Rhino and Rodriguez. Ekman Larson gets his fourth goal of the season, and Florida leads us now, uh, one nothing. Then we, we go a little bit further ahead where Forslund gets called for a tripping and McKenzie and whistle. I mean, that's, I don't know if I like that call too much. It looked like he was trying to, he was just trying to uh, get that puck. And, you know, I, I, I understand that there was contact at the legs, but then he backed off. And after he backed off, um, and whistle still falls down. And we get called for a freaking penalty anyway. Just sad. But uh, but to make the long story short with that, um, we have we have killed off this penalty as Donato was blocked by Dmitry Kulikov and there was a hit there. So good penalty kill there as Chicago's Blackhawks um, uh, Chicago Blackhawks um, power play is nearly just as bad as the Florida Panthers this season. And this is no offense. That's just this, this, statistically uh, true. But after the power play, um, after some pressure for the Florida Panthers, Kachuk snapshot saved by Silverblum, and I keep forgetting. We got Bobrovsky on net, go up against um, go up against Arvid Soderblom. I think the last time, I think the last time the Panthers played the Panthers, it was Stolarts going up against. Um, if I remember correctly, so it was Anthony Stolarts. I think it's Peter Morazic. So this is a totally different goalie matchup here. And as I, yeah, I just took a look. It was Morassic. This time it's against it's against uh, Solderblom, uh, who was signed a uh, undrafted signee at 2021. I think he's a good goalie, and he showed he's a good goalie. He gave a four. I, even though they gave, they gave up four goals, this was a shootout with a good offensive teams. And there was a goal a little bit after that, as we were talking about the saves. So. Verhage snapshot, snapshot saved by Soderholm, Soderblom. Then Rajesh, wrist shot saved by Rebrowski. Um, Connor Murphy slash shot that hit the left post. And after that, assisted by Luke Rachel and Connor Murphy. It's Jason Dickinson, his second goal of the season. I think that was his first goal since the opening night. Um, ties the game up 1-1. So already interesting game. Already interesting game here. Now there was some, there were definitely some moments there. Takeaways: Lundell wrist shot saved by Sonnerblom. Uh, we're gonna go to Connor Murphy wrist shot saved by Bobrovsky. Um, uh, Radish snap shot saved by Bobrovsky. Kulikov wrist shot went wide to the right, so he misses. Shot Mikula shot blocked by Murphy. Barkov snap shot saved by Sonnerblom. Ekman Larson tries to get one snap slap shot that was saved by Sonnerblom. Uh, Nick Cousins, wrist shot saved by Sutterblom. There was an offside, but not before holding a stick. It's Bedard. He was holding Nick Cousins' stick. He goes to the penalty box in our first in our first penalty of the game. First penalty of the game. So, um, 
So what we got here um, is a power play. I wonder what could go wrong. Turns out everything went right. Nearly 25 seconds. Is it 25 seconds? No, I think it's over. It's just, I think it's 16 seconds after. I think so. So um, just 16 seconds after that, um, we have a goal. Finally, what felt like an eternity, assisted by Kachuk and Ekman Larson. It's a tip in goal. Reinhardt just gets it in. Bam, just gets it in through that um, through that goal. What a goal that was. Jesus. I don't know how that happened. He just gets it, tips it in. And then we have we have we're back up by we're back up by one again. It's now 2-1 Florida. It's still in the first period. We're definitely we're definitely looking at a really good hockey game. So Corey Perry tries to snap slap shot in, but that was saved by Brosky on the response. Florida still putting on the pressure. Mahura, Verhage, both trying to do a wrist shot as well as Kachuk. Saved by Sarder Blum, and by Kachuk's shots just went miss, just misses to the right. Um tips tips in is Lorenz that just misses to the right. Um, we're gonna skip ahead a little bit. There were shots blocked. Um there was shots blocked there. There was so okay. Here here we go right here. So um Barkov wins the face-off, McKenzie and and um and whistle. And there was a goal by Reinhardt off the off the one timer. That goes to the back of the net. However, however the however the referees um felt as though as there was a goaltending interference, which would which unfortunately it was the right call. Basically, if, if the goaltender goalie is on the blue paint of the ice, whether it's the legs or the skates, no matter where it is, as long as they're there and you make contact while the puck is on its way. It's an interference, and and the puck, even though it went back in the net, Reinhardt, um, Reinhardt did not. Reinhardt's goal was disallowed, so it's no three one. But to make matters worse is what happens after. So we had a puck after that, uh, not before a couple of saves by uh, Bobrovsky and a shot from Bar shot blocked by Barkov. We had a situation near the end uh, where. Uh, was it for Hagen or was it? It was. It was somebody. It was somebody. Bedard steals the puck. Wrist shots on the impossible angle, just above the top left, all by himself, and he ties the and he ties the game. And I, I'll say this too: um, hockey fans can agree. And even though I'm the opposing side of this, that was a beauty. That was a beauty shot by Bedard. He is. And I think this is the first time in Blackhawks history a rookie player who has more, who has um who has um scored more than seven goals in their first season. And mind you, this the Blackhawks, Chicago, they're one of the original teams of the of the National Hockey League. And finally, we have a record-breaking uh, goal right there. But he steals the puck and just immediately wrist shot it after a steal. Christ, that is just. I'm glad after today we don't have to deal with him. We'll have to deal with him again next year. But anyway, um, anyway, Bedard gets that crazy goal steal thingy, and we go, and we go to the, we go to the, we go to the second period. Let's just say we go to the second period. Um, now there was some scuffle with um Mahura. Was it Mahura? Was it Nick? I think it was Mahura. He gets pushed to the wall. And then immediately retaliates. I think that might have happened. I think that might have been happens in the second period. We'll we'll talk about that. So second period we come up. Blackhawks win the the face off. So we're definitely definitely getting some shots in right there. As Tyler Johnson tries snap shot that was saved by Mabrowski. Kulikov responds, but that was saved by Southern Blom. And Forsling was blocked by Karashev. Um, initially I thought, and and th this is what we're gonna we'll talk about that in a little while. Um, um, Zaisev was blocked by Verhage. We're going to skip ahead a little bit to Rodriguez was blocked by Zaisev. Um, Sam Reinhardt wrap around that just misses to the right. Um, Sam Reinhardt once again tries to wrap around, but that this time was saved by Sardar Blom. Then Verhage, a little bit after that, tries to backhand it, but that was saved by Sardar Blom. 
So nice goal. Not not goal. I'm sorry. That was a nice save there by Sauter Blum. Then then we go. Then we get uh, not a power play. So Florida putting on the pressure. Um, Forsling tries to slash on that hit the post. Oh, almost. Forsling wrist shot that was saved by Sauter Blum. Assisted by uh, Forsling and Rodriguez. Reinhardt, second goal of the game. He backhands it, and this is not your average, typical backhand. This is an OMG backhand. What happened was he's behind. Here he is, right? He's he's at the side of the net. He's coming up forward, going past it. He backhands it like this, and the puck ricochets off the Soder Blom skate, and that puck hitting the skate of Soder Blom goes back to the back of the net. Oh my goodness, what a goal. What a, what a slick play that was. What a sick play that was by Reinhardt. That's his second goal of the game. That would be 3-2 Florida lead. And we have taken the lead. However, just 50 seconds later, uh, Reese Johnson shot blocked by Valinskis, assisted by Seth Jones. I mean, I, I, should I even say his name? It's Connor Bedard again. Just a snapshot, a snapshot off the in, in Chicago Blackhawks speed. It's just, it's like how we were a couple of years ago and how fast we were with Duclair, Huberdo, Mackenzie Weger, Verhage. The, just a fast place, place, pace that we had. Blackhawks, definitely a fast paced team, as well as Bedard, 18 year old. Scoring his second goal against Florida. And we have a tie hockey game again. And that was a nice goal. I, I got to say, that was a nice goal. And he just buries it to the back of the net from the left side. And we, we are tied. We are tied 3-3. So Barkov tries to get one. But that just hit the crossbar, above crossbar. Barkov then. Barkov was blocked by Wayne Kaiser. Then after that, uh, Korsinski snapshot that just that just misses to the left, and then Bennett. Welcome back, Sam Bennett. Should I point out that Sam Bennett is back? Nearly two weeks of being an injured injured list after the Boston um, injury, he comes back. Welcome back, and I should mention that he has he has been uh, beaten up. I don't I don't know about beating up people, but um, he's definitely hitting some hard shots on those Blackhawks team. But this time he gets called for a hook against Connor Bedard, and Chicago goes on a power play and barely did much at all. There was only there was only about uh, there was only one shot from Chicago from this power play, and already that was killed off. Uh, Korczynski with that snap shot that just that was saved by, by Bobrovsky, and that was and the penalty was killed off. Connor Bedard wrist shot that was saved by Bobrovsky, nice save there. Verhage deflect the save by Soderblom. Barky, Barkov, wrist shot that was saved by Soderblom. Um, and then there was a hit, and there was a big hit on Kulikov. And then Nick and then Nick Foling, Foligno has something to say about it. Not only he hooks Kulikov, but he, he was also given a rough on Kulikov. And there was a scuffle there um, to back up Connor Bedard. And... Falingo has a double minor, so it's a two-minute power play for Florida. And did you and guess how many goals we kept, we get we got for that power play? Zero. So back to the old ways. We get it was fun while it lasted. It was fun while it lasted. So Barkov tries to get one. For, for, uh, Matthew Gachuk tries to get one, but that was blocked. Soda Plum saves Barkov's shot. There was a shorthanded opportunity for Radish, but that was saved by Bobrovsky. Lundell then tries to snap shot in. That was saved by Soda Plum. Bennett tries to slap shot high, but that just misses way to the left. Um, then, then a little bit after that, Barkov tries to wrist shot. That was saved by Soda Plum again. Nick Cousins and Anton Lundell tries to shoot. But that misses to the left, and the other one was missed to the uh, right as well. And then again, Sam Bennett gets called for a penalty. This time it's a tripping on Connor Murphy, and that eliminates the power play. So that's un that's a little bit unfortunate there. And we had like 10 seconds 
uh, or 11 seconds of the 4-on-4, four four, and then uh, Chicago gets on the power play to end the second period and then start the, th the third period. So after that, Tyler Johnson wins the faceoff. Penalty get, would get killed off, but not for Reddish tries to wrist shot, but that was saved by Bobrovsky, and Bobrovsky is just amazing, amazing tonight. Um, today, I shouldn't say tonight, it's still... It's still 3.56 p.m. I'm doing this immediately after this game was over. Um, then Jason Dickinson was called for interference on Kulikov. They were looking at they were looking at somebody else. It, they were looking at somebody else. Um, uh, somebody, some other Blackhawk player. But Jason Dickinson was called for interference. Um, I know there's going to be some complaint about that one. But the rule is, as long as you don't have a puck and you're trying to go after it, while some while the teammate has it, when you when you get hit by somebody else, by opposing team, when you don't have a puck, especially if it's from behind, that's a that's a penalty, that's an interference call. And in about in about a minute and fourteen seconds into the power play, oh my gosh, we barely have any power play calls today. We have two two power play goals, assisted by Reinhardt and Kachuk. Um, I don't know if Reinhardt was trying to shoot, was trying to get something in, and then there was a deflection of the wrist shot, but he, I think he was looking for a hat trick, Reinhardt. But somebody else, uh, somebody else got that puck and wrist shot in, assisted by Reinhardt and Kachuk, Carter for Hagee, Swaggy. Swagger gets one into the back of net. We have two power play goals today. Then we have recaptured the lead four to three. And, I, and in my mind, I was jokingly saying, "Great! Now let's let's see let's see how long Connor Bedard takes to get this goal back in." So, um, <laughs> Volingo, F of it, wrist shot that was saved by Bobrovsky. Rodriguez, just a good look by Rodriguez, not once but twice. Reinhardt batted batted left side, and she was just so close. That would have been five three, just so close. To making a 5-3 game. And Barkov hitting the crossbar. Great. Low Serena and after that. Wrist shot that just misses to the left. We're going to skip ahead a couple of minutes to Kevin Stenley. And try snatch on it. That was saved by Sauter Blom. Then the goalie stopped it. Um, Bennett then wins the face off. There was a there was a blocked shot by Mikola to Tyler Reddish. Carver Hagee tries to kill one. That just misses to the left. Nick Cousins shot blocked by... Kurashev, that's him. That was the guy that they were looking at from the Dickinson interference. Kurashev. Um, then Barkov, there was a couple of hits. Seth Jones hits Rodriguez, and Barkov hits Seth Jones. Reinhardt tries to tip it in. That hit the post. Oh, almost there. Lomberg, wrist shot. That misses to the right. Kaiser from Chicago. Wrist shot saved by Bobrovsky. Sam Bennett was shot blocked by... Korzynski, puck went into the netting up above. Verhage tries to get one, but that was blocked by Dickinson. Seth Jones tries to hit a shot in, but that hit the right post. Imagine that somehow peaked in. Falingo, then wrist shot. That was a great save by Bobrovsky. So not done there. Um, Vlasic, shot blocked by Nick Cousins. Um, Falingo then hits Forsling. Barkov, wrist shot saved by Soderblom. Um, then, then Lundell was blocked by Z uh, Zaitsev. Then Chicago bring on pressure. For the rest of the game, Chicago is bringing on heavy pressure. And I'm talking Donato, Seth Jones, Radish, Vlasic, Dickinson, Korchinski, Bedard, Reese Johnson. All those guys putting in the pressure against Florida's goaltending. That's Bobrovsky and... And he saves all those shots from that team. Now there were a couple of there were a couple of blocks. A few of them were by Kachuk. One was a one radish was missing to the left. But the, but Baraski was saving it. They were saving pucks. Kachuk tr contribute to the block, especially against Kor Korczynski. Then, um, Benkansi and Whistle, snatch shot that was saved by Brosky once more. And then by this point, empty net. Empty net, um, calling in, um, they were calling in, um, 
I just now I completely forgot his name. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Soderblom. They call in Soderblom to the bench to put an extra skater on, and Chicago bring in the pressure, and and um, Florida's defense. I don't know how they pulled it off, but they pulled it off. Seth Jones was close, but Bobrovsky saved it. Seth Jones again, wrist shot that was saved by Bobrovsky. Corey Perry almost got one in, but that was also saved by Bobrovsky. Corey Perry once more saved by Bobrovsky and Bobrovsky with these nice saves, and he's and he makes it look easy, but that's just impossible how he does it. Impossible. Then one last chance, Bedard with five seconds left. There was a timeout. But Dara tries to slap shot in. That was saved. And a huge save. And I, I'm not talking about a average save that hit the body. I'm talking about it hits the hits the shin slash foot area by the leg. And he stretches out through There was one more shot going to the right side. He lunges over, but that just misses to the right side. Hockey game over. Florida wins this game. 4-3. They're on a four-game win streak. And it's just an absolutely great game to watch, especially if you're neutral. And for myself, it was an anxious game, but I thought this game was very enjoyable, win or lose. So definitely great, great game uh, that we that we just witnessed here. I loved it. I, I, I loved it. I loved every moment of it. And, and now with this, with this win... Um, we are now heading to the West Coast for the first time this season. Yay! So, um, in terms of stars of the game, as they haven't, they still have not announced the stars of the game yet. I'm pretty sure they will any moment now. So I'm kind of just stalling a little bit. And hopefully, hopefully there will be stars of the game by the time I stop talking. So anyway, 32 shots for Florida. Compared to 27 that Chicago has. Chicago didn't have much shooting compared to Florida did during the game. And they were just, they were being outshot at, but Bedard is just making a huge difference there. 21 hits for Florida compared to 15 that uh, Chicago has. Eight penalty minutes for Chicago compared to six that, uh, that Florida has. And in terms of team stats, uh, like I said, um, there was a, and then we have, two, like I said, with the shots, 32 for 27, 21 hits compared to 15, 32 faced off wins compared to 23 that Chicago has. That is a 58.2 percentage face off win. Power play opportunities, we had four, and we had two power play goals. One is from Reinhardt, and the other one's from Verhage. Nice one there um, as well. So, takeaways, 10 takeaways, and, and, um, and 12 giveaways and 8 blocked shots. And one of them was critical by Matthew Kachuk. So that is, great. that is good news there. That is good news there. So um, then, yeah, that's pretty much it. They still have not announced the stars of the game. But I'll tell you this. This week is this week's going to be huge. Incredibly important. Um, Tuesday... We got a very late game, obviously, from the East Coast, but for them. Um, and I've been to California recently, and I would have stayed much longer and watched one of them, but I just couldn't do it. We got San Jose Sharks um, on Tuesday at 10.30 p.m. That's good. that's an ESPN Plus hockey night, so if you have ESPN Plus, you can tune in. Then we got the Los Angeles Kings on Thursday, which is my birthday, um, I hope they break this LA curse because we have not won a game in LA, I think since 2002. So it's been a long time since we played, since we, since we won a game in Los Angeles. Then the day after, the night after the Los Angeles Kings is Anaheim Ducks. That is also a 10 o'clock game and the, the Kings game is a, um, it's a 1030 game as well. So very late night for us folks. And I'm definitely going to tune in on all those, especially if on the West Coast. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. I can't, I'm, I'm, I can't wait to enjoy it. If we could get 1-1-1, one, one, and one, that will be great. 1-1-1, one, one, and one, it will definitely be, definitely be good progress. 2-1, that will be great. I think, I think the more realistic um, chance is 2-1, 2-1-1, you know, two wins and one loss. 
And especially, and especially since on my birthday, they had to play the Kings at Crypto.com Arena. I don't know if we can get. I don't know if we got the Kings. And don't let the record fool you. They are seven. They are. They're a really good team on the road, but they're struggling at home. Don't let that fool you because, well, we haven't won a game in Los Angeles in 2002. But we had more of an advantage against Anaheim. But there. But Anaheim is a better team. And then of course you got the Sharks who are just struggling for tremendous struggle. Um, they did finally win two. They did finally win the game, and I think they won it against Philadelphia a few weeks ago, or about a week or so. And then beating Edmonton, which I don't know if you guys heard. Uh, this is off related, um, unrelated topic. Is that um, Jay Woodcroft was fired from the Edmonton? So they so Edmonton's going for a coaching change. That's just that's how bad. That's how ugly that loss is for Edmonton against the Sharks of, of, of all teams. So let's not fall into that trap, you know. Let's not fall into that trap. That would suck badly. But anyway, guys, they still have not announced three. They still have not announced stars of the game. And um, if I and I'll probably do the next video right now. Um, so if they announce it, then I'll definitely tune back and then you know edit it together and then tell you the stars of the game. So anyway, guys, in case that didn't happen, I'll leave you off with this. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe for content. Even if you're a Blackhawks fan tuning in, hit the like button, subscribe for content because Miami TV has your back. And when he does, he'll be right there with you for your entertainment you deserve. It's Miami TV to sign off, folks. Good night, everybody. Okay, so as soon as I was finished with that Hurricanes video, which, spoiler alert, I just did do a Hurricanes video, we do have three stars, finally. So the stars of the game. Sam Reinhardt with one star. I mean, of course, two goals and an assist for Ekman Larson. No surprise there. Um, Reinhardt getting the star here. Two stars is Connor Bedard because he has two goals. I mean, what more can you say from him? And then three stars, Ekman Larson. I thought it was a good choice for him as he definitely did earn three stars for the game. Getting that, getting that um, scoring opportunity first thing. From this game, and he and he contributed big time to win this game for us. So, uh, the one more note for this road trip coming up: um, Ekblad and Montour coming back along with the road trip. Get definitely gonna practice with them, and they're pretty soon. They're gonna come back, and they're gonna, soon gonna play for us. And and the the defense is gonna be more. It could be more um, impossible for them to defend. So, now that's going to do it. And now I'll see you guys next time, which is tonight. Good night, everybody.